Oh, I do love this bike. Hello, guys. Out on the little bullet today. I just cannot get enough of this bike. It's just like, it's just amazing. For you guys who like, you know, you're just into your road bikes. Yeah, I know I'm riding the road now, but if you're into your road bikes <clears throat> and um, you've, it's never really appealed, you know, you're full off-roading. I, I don't actually do the full off-roading, but I'm sort of, the more I go on this and go on these little tracks, the more I'm sort of, you know, do I want to get into that? And to be fair, it, it just looks like fun. It just looks like fun. I'm just nowhere near that level though. Nowhere near. So, a lot of you who follow the channel, you know that I had the Africa Twin. And I bought that to do them sort of things and then obviously realised it's not really the bike to start on. <laughs> Pity I didn't get it on camera. That'd have probably uh, broke the internet if I'd have um, put that on the on the camera. But yeah, it's uh, just going around and scrambling on this little bike. I just love it. It's just amazing. I just get a big smile on my face when I'm on this. You're not going to kill kill any speeds. You know, it's not a racing machine or anything like that. But it's just that it, it it's just really nimble. So nimble. It's light. If you drop it, it's not an issue. Apart from you break your little, uh, I don't know if you can see your little brake lever there, look, look at that. Because <laughs> what I did was, I didn't drop it actually riding it, I was washing the Kawasaki, this was behind me, I stood up, and because it's quite tall on its stand, I stood up and hit it, well I backed up into it, and tipped the thing over, didn't I? Ended up snapping the uh, the brake cable on the, uh, sorry, the brake lever on the front. Well it bent actually, it bent right back, so I tried to bend it, warmed it up, but uh, it's just Mickey Mouse metal, isn't it? So, uh, you know, Chinese. So it's, it just snapped off, unfortunately. So yeah, just on this little bullet again. Just uh, don't know where I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna ride around these little back lanes and you can throw as many potholes as you want at me because I'm not bothered. Because I just, I just love it. It's just brilliant, and it just, it just glides over those potholes and those little, those little sort of tracks as well. You know, I love those little tracks, and I've got a few of them around here as well. They're just, they're just like the potholy, gravelly, and and whatnot, and they're just great. But yeah, if you've never considered doing this, just go out if you can. I know everybody can't, but if you can, and you're sort of toying with the idea you know you've got funds available to do it then just buy a little bike just buy it doesn't have to break the bank just buy a little cheap bike and these bullets are cheap brand new bikes are cheap and I think once they've been out quite a bit as well I think you're gonna pick these up for for next to nothing if I'm you know to be to be fair people are starting to sell them now but obviously they they're still pretty new so they're wanting pretty much what they paid for them but uh, but yeah when they've been out a couple of a couple of years you know, you're, you're going to get one. But there's other, there's other little Chinese opportunities out there as well. Little Chinese bikes. I should have gone up there, actually. Never mind. But yeah, if you've never considered it, you've, and, and you're thinking about it, and you know, you're not an off-road rider, buy one of these. Just get yourself on one of these little lanes like this. Yeah, it don't matter where you are, I'm sure every place has got these little little lanes. Not with these stunning views though, because that's that's just in my area. I live in the best place. <laughs> but yeah, just jump on these and uh, away you go. And just, just check out, just check out little roads. I'm, I'm just checking out little roads that I've, I, I don't know, I didn't even know existed. But yeah, it's so much fun so much fun and then you just get on you know get on the Kawasaki and it's it is completely different just make sure we're in the right gear get up this hill just have to watch out for these horses look here we go let's try and roll it past here 
Okay. So you, you just don't need anything. I'll tell you what, this bike as well, it's a, yeah, it's a 125 and uh, you're not going to get everything out of it you want, you know, but uh, it's just ideal. I'm not going to go more than 50, 60 mile an hour on these back roads because you've just got these stunning views and uh, you know what I, d I just don't want to I just want to enjoy these views but I don't want to take the Kawasaki all the time so just get just one of these and I, I just cannot rave enough about it I just love it love it and it's cost me like five quid that's it five pound and uh, yeah five English pounds if you're not from the UK fill the tank and away I go and it just lasts for ages it just lasts forever lovely day today and I've uh, I've been working it's about two o'clock I've just come out for a, for a break actually because I've not had a break today so I've just come out for a break and uh, I've got my flask in tow not far from home be about an hour and uh, yeah just just wanted to jump on it we've had some crap weather actually for the last couple of days it's been a bit crap it was really nice a couple of weeks back and it we had a really good spell of weather and now it's just gone a bit crap but uh, I don't think it's put out any rain but I'm not bothered see this is always difficult as well now because I've got to get up this hill without scaring these that all sticks out all the ones massive She's going up here, good girl. Thank you. See, they're considerate as well, aren't they? Thank you. See, that's why I just got to be so careful on these bends and that, because you just, if, if you come across one of them horses and uh, you scare it, they're just going to come a cropper, aren't they? And then my bike's popping away like that. <laughs> what what's up there? That looks interesting. Let's have a look. So that's that's the road to the right is where I've been before, but uh let's see what's down here. There's no signs or anything. Let's have a look. I'm actually relaxing a bit more now look so but this is this is sweet this I, I, I just love this it's uh, got some little tricky bits like that <laughs> it's not too bad is it but look at these views you just go off piste and you get these views they're just amazing do you know what this looks really interesting where's this lead then There's a little bench there, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Got to be done. Why would you not? <laughs> right, switch off. Oh dear. Look at it. How amazing is that? Let's get this up. It's just amazing. It's just so peaceful. That looks quite new, that bench. Right. With this being so light, it can just go over so easy. So you've just got to be careful. That's in gear. <laughs> Trying to pull it backwards up a hill. It's better. But yeah, look at her. This is a little aftermarket exhaust on it. 
can take the baffle out but I'm not going to because obviously I don't want to start scaring horses or anything I've got something to change that as well I don't like that I've got something to go over the top of that there's my little brake lever look just snapped off I had some end mirrors on as well and those end mirrors broke so I've had to put the original ones back on for now but yeah very dirty dirty sod need to clean it don't I Oh, this has been put. It's, it's nice, isn't it, when they put uh, memorials out on benches? Yeah, it's really nice. Obviously, it's provided something for me to sit on as well. Look at that view. Right, let's get something to eat. Obviously, something, a bit of fruit in a flask, but uh, there's no better place to do it, is there? Well, bloody lovely that. It's always nice just to have a bit of a stop and admire the view. There's a main road down there, I'm not sure what that road is actually. I think I know which one it is. But yeah, beautiful West Yorkshire. And to have this on my doorstep, I always say it, but... Uh, just amazing I've just seen a four before come up here as well but there are actually tracks so it must come out somewhere I bet it's gonna be right shitted up when it gets to uh, to bad weather and I've seen a walker as well so I didn't know if it was just a footpath but you can see the uh, the divots from the vehicles so I'm not gonna go down there I'm gonna try that some other day Need to head back, unfortunately, but yeah, always keep it the way you found it, take your rubbish home. Right. Yeah, nice little undiscovered spot again. Not doing any harm, am I? So that road straight in front, I've been up there before, that's, that wasn't too bad. Wouldn't attempt that one down there though, behind me. enjoyed this little vlog if you have please comment give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're so pleased to and uh, I'll continue to bring this content as much as I can obviously around work and stuff but, uh, but yeah thanks for the support very much appreciated love it and uh, as long as you guys are enjoying these vlogs I'll still continue to uh, to put them out so I shall see you on the next one. And remember, every day is an adventure. Crazy out. <laughs>